Uh, um, make a listen check. At least for the next while, you're gonna unless people scream in your ear, you're gonna have trouble hearing them. You were really close to a piece of dynamite going on. Oh, made you made it. You do understand what he's saying to you, but it's all like there's like this high pitched whine, and he's barely able to pierce it with that rocker phone voice. What do you want to do? How do you make a new one next time? Is Felix listening? No, you don't. You don't. He's he's make a new one. Kids. Sayers would be up and around by the next thing. He said, "Get these kids out of here." Okay. Then what, what, what do you want to do? Are you grabbing them and chucking them? Are you walking? Yeah, man. Just trying to get to the closest one I get. Do how? Tell me what you want to do. They're cr- Some are crying. Nancy's all. Nancy looks real confused. He's not. This motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, the Marxist. He's confused. So the a lot of the kids are crying. Um, it's it's just a bad scene. He's climbing up on the thing with a piece of dynamite in his mouth. <laughs> he looks like he's up to no good. <laughs> Make a climb check. Uh, <laughs> I guess try to call Yancey. You want my climb? Get <laughs> yes, please. Okay, but I'm going to say to him. You say, Yancey, get over here. And the boy wanders over. Got it. Which Holy is surprising crap. to you, but he comes over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where, where, where are we? What? Where are we? What's going on? <laughs> Just go get the other kids and bring them over here, do Is this some kind of bourgeoisie plot? <laughs> Yancey. Focus. Just you know, get the. <laughs> uh, persuade, or I'll let you use psychology or fast talk. Uh, uh, you persuade. 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 Make a persuade check. Bourgeoisie uh, business. No. Anyone? No. Uh, He's like, I don't have to do what you say. I'm my own man. You go in the face. Stop. Shush. You're not, you're busy. I don't care. Okay. Um. So you're trying to persuade Nancy unsuccessfully. I um. You I didn't see my climb. You climb up on top of the thing. You're pretty much straddling his <laughs> shoulders. Yeah. You know, the state of dynamite. When you uh, I'm going to, like, try to use the tomahawk improperly to, like, kind of chisel out a little spot to put well, it. It's happens. not working? It's solid stone. Okay, uh, well... You're really uncomfortable being up here. I, you just you just have this feeling, like, I this use statue could just go like this, and just yeah. be like, bleh, or yeah. something. I'm mean, quickly really wrapping weird. the copper cord around it, and then just lighting right. it, and I know I've got right. enough time. You realize that's going to send debris pretty far. At least as far as where those kids are, like, milling yeah. around right now. You're still doing it? Kill the kid. Yeah. I'm, just tell- I'm just telling you, you watched him drop, and he was 20 feet away from one piece of explosive. And these kids are definitely closer than that. All you kids, move now! Oh my god, I'm about to kick all these kids. <laughs> People, move your kids! These kids are coming out of mental possession. They're not in their, arms, their right minds right now. He's yelling from the top of the thing. Kids are so useless. Perhaps, right. perhaps it's not imperative to this immediately, sir? Can I make Felix it? say that? Yeah, it's just... Somebody just here. I, I'm waiting. It's really uncomfortable here. Waving money. Yeah. <laughs> um. Ooh, they are poor. Make me a persuade, or a fa- I'll give it a fast talk. No, I'll, I'll let this come down to a die roll. Let's see if that gets some of them. That probably is going to get Nancy if he notices. Okay. Um. Seventy-eight. Uh, most of the kids ignore you. Uh, you feel something tug at your pant leg. Mm-hmm. And then it's little Polly Murray. She's adorable. And she looks yeah. up and she says, Will you be my daddy? Yes, if you come with me. Oh. And she holds her arms up like this. Oh. Pick her up. Okay. You got one. Well, you got up. Put it the first way, but double it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yancey's on board, by the way. He's coming. He hears that. <laughs> Yes, now I'm Okay. Oh, um, you've got like see. six new kids. Roll. Roll me 2d6. That's how many kids are actually going to be like. Oh, we can get adopted? By the way, he's rich! Ten. That's all of them. Okay. So, um, they all start paying the shit out of here. Where do you want to take them? Do you want to take them towards that awful monstrous thing that's from where we came? From where we came. Okay. So, hey, the don't just ignore the monster kids. Oh, you see, that's a tree. You can start moving the kids this direction. There's still uh, labor going on on the opposite end. Um, Get out of here, Arnold. Get out. out. Are you going to go with them? Yes. Okay. So So that's all you go. You're basically trying to take them back towards the um, the textile mill? You're up here. Okay. So Adler's going. Rockefeller's going. Um, Felix is going to stay behind. Felix says that he's going to stay with the ladies, if that's all right with you, Mr. Rockefeller. Do what you have to do. He's gonna stay behind for now, oh, just in case. Some, yeah, just in case something goes horribly wrong. So he's not gonna leave three women in the woods alone. 
With, oh, with, with the guy with the, okay. wants to blow yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Did you, Children. did you stop? Oh. Are you not lighting I'm, I'm waiting until they're out of the range now. I'm lighting it. Like, if this is what's going on, I'm lighting it now. All right. The so. debris could hit them. Keep that in mind. If you're blowing they something up this time, live. this blew up on dirt. It had a stone. And you almost killed me. It could. Do, if there's going to be shrapnel, and it could go pretty hard. Hit off the face, Walker God! Him. Yeah, you can hear stuff. So I'm just, Felix I'm is still run. watching. I know that he's playing dynamo. Uh, Mr. Angleton, please, if you could just wait. I think it would be a good idea. What's Felix? Wait, uh, I'm messing up, too. That's fine. That's fine. Your character is messing up. Don't worry, I gave up on mine, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. My guy's actually. Anyway, up. yeah, he's messing but, up because. This shouldn't have, This is... Yeah. Anyway. Um, sir, could you merely set up your line sure. of... Uh, I'll set up... Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, you have to find it. Oh, I've got a plunger box. on my back. Oh, okay, okay. And... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can set that up. It'll take you like five minutes to set up the explosives. Um, I'm going to be like... We need a dagger away. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. I might messed up, guys. Oh, you're all dead. No, never mind. <laughs> y'all, y'all died. Hold on, hold on. No, you don't want to move her at this point. She's really deep into the labor, and she's apparently in a ton of pain. Um, which, like, I which can't can even, like, help drag her all the way. You don't want to. She's in a bed. You're not in a hospital. You have no facilities here, and if you start moving her, it could go bad for her. But I'm just giving you the impression. You can still try to move her, but I'm telling you, you think it's a very bad idea. Yeah, no, no. We're gonna... Okay, um... You just stay on top of that thing, sit there. <laughs> you just wave. Oh, I'm putting one on the back. Oh, so okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't screw up. Okay, so you have set your... your he looks even help you set up the okay. explosives okay. in the plunger, and so it won't take long. Do you want to move her or not? I don't want to move her. So move her, move her, move her. One thing as a player, do you want to move her or not? You don't... Your I mean, character doesn't think it's... Move her, but not it doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so... um, What's Ellison doing? You run Felix, into... You must move her. Oh, Ellison? So. Oh, Margaret? Yeah, she's 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 holding she's holding uh, she's holding Gracie right she now. She stopped pointing the gun at James. <laughs> yeah, mm, once I yeah, started yeah, climbing yeah. and stuff. You guys probably. talked about you guys talked about killing her, and that's when she pulled her gun I'm out. When you guys die. walked away and started doing other shit, she put it away again. So I'm she's not noticing the gun. Right she just pats her pocket okay. and she nods at you, okay. knowingly. She's kind of keeping an eye on him. It's like she's watching him and she's trying to comfort. She's like, "Ladies, I'm gonna have a group we're about thing. to blow off its head." Well, sir, sir, perhaps we should wait until we see what happens here. We cannot move. But her. Felix, if that thing comes to life, how much explosives are we going to need? I'm going to get yeah. very irritated. We cannot move her. <laughs> she's yelling. She's screaming at you from across the. I look over my shoulder and I'm like. <laughs> I'm a very irritated. He still person. wishes. He, he, he would like you to wait. Yeah. But, you know, it's your character. You got the plunger, so. Well, I'm going to keep the plunger later. No, just... one. Okay. You. I'm setting you up behind this rock. Yeah. One, two. Uh, with a with a trail of children behind you. Of course. Should I call you Daddy Rock Dog? Should I call you Uncle William? You know, a lot of questions are being bombarded towards of you. Of course. And um, you see flashlights up ahead. Quite a few. Oh, thank God. Yep. And yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and the half, there's a half. There are uh, three um, uh, Aylesbury police uh, coming through the woods. <laughs> and... and Wait, what's going on here? Flashlights get shining in your face, and then they shine at the children, and it's like, it's a missing kid! Hold it right there, you two! There's... Oh, I can't, I can't do this voice anymore. Um, this is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's no need for this. All right, yeah. we found the kids. We found the kids. There's a grove up ahead if you want to see what happened, but we saved the kids. Me and Adler here saved the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just got red now. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not there right now, so... He said, oh, there's, there. oh, oh, oh. There, there's some confusion for a few minutes, and they're like, all right, let's get these kids back to town. They're still Gracie at the Grove, though. They might need help. Is she alone? We're, wait, you were with a bunch of other people, weren't you? We lost some, and some are still trying to save Gracie. It's not hidden. Um, Thank you, bitch. Okay, all right, all right. Once you get to the Grove, everything will be explained. You will see. You too. Uh, Bob, John, you guys, you guys, uh, you guys, where's this Grove? Can you show us? It's just oh, right ahead. It's right behind no, you. You guys have been walking for like five oh, minutes shit. by the time you're Okay, the I made it. Because the whole fight took maybe a minute. Yeah, not long. That way. My spot check. Oh. Show us. Show me. Five minutes. Oh. Spot, 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 spot. You made it? Yeah. Okay. This thing is like melting away. Oh, good. Okay. No. no kind of like how it, they did earlier. These are actually, the no, the others just vanished. These are actually melting away as well. Um, yeah, he wants one of you and... Yeah, he wants you to take him, and 
he wants you to take these two guys to the grove, and he and this obviously very badly injured gentleman <laughs> will continue on back to town with the kids. Are the kids follow them without me? Yeah, yeah, they're police officers. Yeah, yeah. they're there to help. <laughs> yeah, they, they will. So you're you got two cops in your head now. I do. I do need to know where Felix is at this point. Um, he's right there. He's right there. He stands right next to the statue. He Why? still says, "I would advise you not." Felix, five seconds. I would advise <laughs> yeah. you not, sir. It, it's about to disappear. You just saw the bodies. What bodies? What are you talking about? This one. What are you talking about, sir? Oh, I, I pointed at the monsters. Okay. The others vanished, sir. Those appear to be melting. It's different. But it wasn't here earlier, right? It's not the same process, sir. We will wait for now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. But please step away from the <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, who the fuck is Felix? <laughs> Felix, is, Felix is afraid if you blow that thing up, chunks are going to kill the women. And so that's probably, what, right now, he's using himself as a human shield. He doesn't think you'll just murder him. You don't want to. Exactly. But you might, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Move an inch. I'm blowing it. So this is disappearing, or is it all the no. monsters? No. Okay, just the creatures, or these three things are just kind of slowly... It's, it's almost like they're made of wax, and it's heating up, and they're just kind of like oozing out into this yes. like puddle of goo. Um, I'm massaging my chest. Ten minutes to later. <laughs> ten minutes pass. Uh, the labor's been going on for 20 minutes. You think it's coming. Okay. It's going to be soon. It's going to be within the next 20 minutes, oh. at the latest. Okay. Possibly sooner. Um, is there a river in there? water. Uh, not that you know of. You have, you, no, you don't. You're not, no, you don't think so. There's no river nearby. When you see, uh, you guys hear voices and see lights coming from this direction. And Rocky, uh, Rockingham, Rockefeller shows up with two police officers. Uh, each of them has a flashlight, um, obviously armed and everything. Um, and they walk into the now darkened. It's very dark except for the lantern that Miss uh, that uh, Margaret had with her, which is over there by them now. Um, and these cops come in and they start shining uh, the flashlights flash around. Uh, you don't see, you see big puddle of ooze where that thing was that, that picked you up. There and you go. I've given you what you want. Now I need to go back and help the kids. No, no, no. Come on. Ah, you, Jesus. You need to tell, you need to introduce me to your friends here. We need to find what's going on. <laughs> you will. You this is how cops are acting. <laughs> um, you have some friends. I've got the plunger kind of. They're from there, right? So yeah, they came this way. Kind of like right here. The That's moment. fine. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see it. Uh, These cops what's are going on? What's going on over there? Confused. The police are coming. They want to question you. What's going on over there? And they're pointing over towards the women. Uh, one of them heads over that way. Yeah, the other apparently one's there's a pregnant child from a satanic ritual. What? What? Okay. Um, the baby's coming. Yeah. Uh, it take, it take, it's about half an hour of labor when um, she gives birth to a stillborn thing, one of the police officers helps. When you start ordering him to do shit, he just like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> right. oh god, uh, very right. demanding here. Uh, so sweet. It's a stillborn thing which vaguely resembles a human infant. It appears to be a hermaphrodite with curved horns, hooves, multiple eyes, and several tentacles. So, so it's, it's so it's not. It's dead. Okay. It's dead. Um, it's stillborn. It's dead. I just feel like. Ugh. And you need to make a sanity yeah, check. Uh, Margaret needs to make a stand. <laughs> Am I anywhere near them? But it can be if you want to be okay. here when the birth happens. Felix, Felix is going to go over there once you're away from the plane. Yeah, I, I had. I you had, didn't make it. I hope I made uh, it. Felix made it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. God. Margaret made it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not going to eat it. Thanks. Uh, barely <laughs> make it. I'm uh, just so sorry. Gross. I hope you don't get that. <laughs> No, I hope you do. That'd be I funny. Hope I eat it. Did you make your sanity check? Yeah. One point of sanity lost. Okay. Rockefeller, um, <laughs> before the baby's born, you can leave if you want. The cops I did. know who they're talking to and they can deal with these other people. But <laughs> I got they tell you don't leave. Cruise. They say don't leave town. No, I was about to say. You will need to be in a, You will need to be questioned. Of course I will. So other than that, you can go. Um, <laughs> she didn't make her sanity check. Oh, yeah, okay. I needed to destroy it. Oh, oh God. One point of sanity. Oh, man, man, take that oh. and put it on top of the statue for a moment. <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> Um, okay, yes. as soon as the baby is born and she's just looking at it, um, all of a sudden, 
the statue disappears. Yes! So the altar. Everything that was in this area that looked different. Does the dynamite disappear? Um, yes, the dynamite goes with it. And Yay. the plunger and the wire. So somebody else can just have... Everything just vanishes. <laughs> it's just gone. My um, guys as, soon as, as soon as the baby was pretty much born, you were looking at it when all of a sudden everything vanished. I am upset. I'm so okay. I'm sorry. No, um, I just shoot the baby. <laughs> no, not yeah, yet. The, the I'm baby's still later. there. I'm the baby's like, still there. It's, it's intriguing, though. It's, God, it's hideous. Oh, the cop! <laughs> see what I the punch cop. the baby in the face. Oh, yeah. oh God! You're gonna try to punch the baby. I in try the to face. punch the baby in the face. I, I take my time to make sure I don't punch her, her hands. Can or I make a dodge roll for this? Yes. To two. No. The cop is very visibly disturbed. Oh, there's two cops there. Stupid they baby! They're all trying to help with the thing. He doesn't make sense either. I miss. The two police officers that serve in the statues and stuff disappear. They kind of freak out as well. Uh, and not like, well, I can't do anything. But they're just like, they're looking around wide-eyed and say, we should cry. Well, let's, let's get out of here. So I don't see him. too and throw this. Okay. Well, Gracie is okay. You're trying to punch the the dead baby? I tried once, I missed it. I was just like, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you basically, like, you try to do a little, a little swing and yeah, just, like, pop it, yeah. but you, like, were short or I'm something. Like, it's dark. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, the cops are served here. You guys can go back to town. You can, um, the police will help get Gracie. They're going to carry her. Um, one will carry her back to town. Rock already oh, left. Yeah, I try to find him. Huh? I'm just going to hold on to it. What do we do with it? I, I don't know. But one of the police officers said, just. I try to go back with Gracia. Yeah, you can. To, one to, like, of the cops picks her up. You're asking the other, and the other cop says, should we bury it? Should we burn it? Am I talking to news crews yet? We should burn no. it. Uh, not quite yet. I'll mention I'm that. afraid this man is going to turn to me. Well, yeah, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, Curtis Evans' body disappeared like, with, the, with the stuff, too. Yeah. It's gone. Um, you're afraid that it was what? <laughs> What did we do with it, man? Plant it like a seed and just be like. Oh. It's come out somewhere along this this whole thing that you're a nurse. Probably when one of the cops showed up and the said, "I'm a nurse, do as I tell you," and, you know, and made him help out as best he could. What did we do with it, man? He's just staring at it too, like. Yeah, I just absolutely don't know. What? Okay, do you say? Is that what you say? I just I don't know. I, I'm just like. What do you think we should do with it? Yeah. We should, oh yeah, you're there, you're there. We should burn it, clearly. It's an abomination. If it turns into one of those things. Um, um. Yeah. But the other stuff looked kind of dead to me, too. Somebody's looking at you now. I know. Whatever, we need to get her to a hospital. One of the cops has already picked her up and no. is heading back to town. I'm going to go ahead and get her. Actually, Margaret goes with them. She's holding one of the policemen's flashlights, okay. and so they can see. So it's you, her, and one police officer. I pick up my flare right. gun on the way out. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can find, I, your, I, you can find your flare gun. There's so a few other guns like, scattered around. Who knows? So like, what's where you want to do? Oh, Felix is there, too. I'm sorry. I'm I had a bad idea. idea. Like, oh. What do you want to do with it? Actual. Yeah, I kind of want to take it to them. Be like, okay. So, do you take? Do you wrap it in your coat or anything like that? Yeah, or you just take off your coat. Wrap I just it really up. don't be like, oh, you're a bad person. You have this thing. Okay, so you guys go back to town. Um, who's going to the hospital? Who got badly hurt? I'm good. Did you get injured? It always comes from spurts. That's no. what I've got got bisected. And was going to the hospital. <laughs> like a year. I lost like seven, seven in the hospital in like a year. How much? Like seven or four. That's not that exactly. Okay, lost like so. 20 something. Um, you return to town. Yep. How far do you say? Um, the police. Where were um, you? The newspaper will interview you. Uh, the police want to interview you. What are you guys going to tell them? What are you guys telling them? Tell them that about it's what happened when they the police want to know what happened. What I'm not going to do my voice because it's going to take too long. Oh, that's uh, fine. You just, just, just summarize. We yeah. don't have to go into I'm going to say that as concerned citizens of the people that me and Ingerton formed a team to go out in the woods and search for the children, okay. we found them uh, kidnapped by... We're, I'm just going to say horrific beings. I'm not going to describe them in any sense. And by asking what they are, I just say horrific beings. Yeah. No, and I'm going to say they were led by... The, the pedophile guy. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, and I'm gonna say it was an evil okay. cult. <laughs> I'll let I'll let you handle that. I didn't okay. think of that. So yeah, it was um, a, okay. Uh, you guys are. It's just an interview with the new local newspaper right now. Um, I'll say that I'll also do my civil duty and take care of these kids some way or shape or form by donating to. Uh, yeah, by donating to the. Uh, okay. 
You're going to have a lot of disappointing children. <laughs> no, I'm going to I'm gonna explain to them that in a way I am adopting them. They'll, they'll still be here, but it'll be the Rockefeller house because they're going to name the place. <laughs> oh, come on. And I'll come, and I'll come visit them when I can. How much, okay, how much money over, well, yeah, we're, this is all be, it'll all be wrapped up. Um, the, um, five hundred. But what happened to Curtis Evans? What happened to Curtis Evans is going to be asked to you. We, he ran the, off the into police, the night. The police with saw the body. Keep in mind, there were two cops there, and they did look over the altar. They didn't do much with it. They didn't, like, examine the statue, but they did see this mangled Curtis Evans on the altar. Apparently killed by plants. Um, um, they know this though. Are they asked, like, are, when they're talking to me, are they, like, living plants ripped into him? Oh, no, they're just asking him, right, because I didn't mention Curtis Evans. They're, they're, the police are asking both of you this. Oh, great. Like, are we together? No, God, no. They would yeah, be individually. They interview you in the uh, the hospital too. Um, Honestly, um, I would I would blame the the death of Curtis Evans on Bernard and O'Malley. <laughs> what? Really? I would say they killed him, and it was justified, of course. Oh, but okay. they so can't spin speak. this yarn. What are you going to tell them? Um, try not to think of trying to ignore what he just said. Exactly. Yeah. No, I am. Did we conspire beforehand? No. no. Okay. There's no way we would have had time. Uh, I would say They're not like, treating you like criminals, but they are keeping you separate because they want the true story. Uh, you have a question, too. I didn't, I didn't quite that. see what happened to him. Okay, fair enough. So you don't know what happened. What about Adler? What's he going to tell him? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> what happened to Curtis Evans? I don't think I don't he saw. Even see him. No, he was probably really No, you don't know. You have no idea. I have no idea. Well, <laughs> well, what happened to Curtis Evans? Well, the plan is You're never gonna believe it. Are you telling the truth? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. Uh, no, like it's fine. Oh, I, I, I can't. Go. That's what I saw. Okay. You can tell him that allegedly. That puts you under suspicion. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, what are you doing with the baby? Oh. oh, okay. What are you doing with the baby? Can I seek him? He's kind of be like, yo, I really have something evil here. Just letting you know before. <laughs> yeah, you can see the, the shaman. Yeah. You go back to the nip nut area and take the baby and show it to him and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's like, yeah, he'll take it from you if you want. Probably. I'll do it. Okay. He does. They're going to burn it. They're going to just make like a fire and they're just going to burn the thing. Somebody who's familiar with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is awful. This is evil. He questions you on what happened. And you tell him. Yeah, I, tell him. I know. You're hungry. I tell him everything. Okay. Because I know he'll make it. Okay, yeah, he does. Um, okay, guys. Um, hey, come back and sit down, guys. We're not done yet. Come on, guys. I always feel like the game gets close to the end and people are just like, I'm done, fuck you, Andy. My legs, like, so. <laughs> No, I just can't You can stand. I don't yeah, know. no, I'm just... But, but stick around here for a second. Um, she did. Um, she did. <laughs> after that. Oh, yeah, um, roll. Okay. So, in, um, in the... Let's see. Uh, you guys are all invited to Margaret and James's wedding, by the way. Um, that's Margaret Ellison. No. They're gonna, they get married. Well, no, you're not, because they're only doing just a civil marriage, just getting married real quick. But you do find yeah, out from the Rockefeller House or whatever you want to call that place is that um, she um, she did adopt Gracie. Um, so Gracie was okay. Gracie had a, a full physical, and it looks like she's sterile, and she's probably gonna have some mental trauma in the future. But otherwise, she seems healthy. Um, okay, let's see. Look, do you do anything about the? Does anybody do anything about those nip muck? Relics that they Oh, want I have those listed down and everything. Yeah. Did and you guys want to, or just in the confusion, do you just not bother? Uh, I mean, I want to give them Tomahawk, but I want to see what they're going to give me. <laughs> no, no, yeah, well, I'm trying to use bargain on them. Um, are you going to take the Tomahawk back to them? Um, well, well actually, no, we, we, we want to talk to the library people first, I think. Okay. Um, I think enough that if you guys want to keep the items that you took. The oh, well, we've done enough? We can actually keep it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, take the other stuff, too. So I'd, 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 I'd feel entitled, and I would keep the X. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're feeling entitled and keeping the X. Right? I wouldn't have gone back either. I have okay. nothing to give them anyway. So um, yeah. Let's see. Well, then my okay, on. so everybody gets a D3 of sanity points back for in, uh, for like... Removing Curtis, e- no, removing Curtis Evans as the foreman. So half of three. By letting him die. Was my guy in the hospital? 
F3. Yes, you would find out about this. So yes, you get that back for that. So do, do um, you want to give me give me his sheet real quick? Oh yeah. That didn't help very much. But that thing is still around. Right here, I'll trade you my dead guy for my alive guy. Okay. Yeah, I tried I to like dead man. I raised you alive. So was okay. Oh, I, I did. did. I'm gonna have to roll. And that's all. I yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Is it plus three sanity? One d three. D six divided by two round up. Um. You guys defeated how many of those creatures? Four of the six. You created um, four, six, so seven, and these three. Sayers gets four points for defeating the Sayers. You guys, the other survivors, all went and finished off the other three, so you guys get six sanity back. So oh, wait, well, I get four sanity? Four more. Oh, I get four sanity? You get six. You were there when the other two were defeated. Yes. Everybody, for defeating the Dark Young, everybody gets 1d10 who was Ooh. in the grove. Moist. So everyone but me. Correct. Yeah, so roll a d10 and add it to your. It's this percent. I'll just want to see what got. One. I'll do Felix later. Yes. Yes. So I get a one. You get another six. D6. Another d6 for disrupting the ritual. So you're out of that one again, Dan. Oh Sarah should have just came on this watch. Uh, Another D6 because you guys disrupted the ritual. Or you actually pushed Margaret or <laughs> into getting over there to disrupt the ritual. Uh, oh, so it, okay, good. That it's, worked. It's, uh, oh, each child saved her? Jesus Christ, they're getting a lot of sanity points now. Oh. You save 10 kids, Gosh. you get 10 more sanity points. <laughs> Damn, each dude. child sa- Look, okay, here's how it works. If you guys had tried to get Grace and kill her, that mist that was around them mm. would transfer all the damage into the kids. Okay. Every oh. six points of damage you do, a child would just drop dead. Okay? So you start chucking dynamite at them, oh my all the kids are going to start dying. But you She's like, I'm going to go all the way back. Question about sanity. She, she, she should, should you ever keep track of like your initial sanity in the game? It or does be up, it? It's up at the top in your attributes. So it does matter in some sense? It could, but it's written up at the top, so you don't have to keep track on down in the box. Yeah, so I... Mean, Pops should only be current. I'm not done yet, guys. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Uh, Gracie Portman survived. 1d4 sanity for that. Yeah. Do I get that I have to live with a baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can have that one. Oh, because Margaret lived? No, because Gracie lived. Gracie. Okay. Uh, Margaret did not die. I thought uh, I got all the sanity back yet. Wait, is that... The mother was not sorry. Really? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and another D6 <laughs> points of damage because um, Margaret, James, and Gracie all survived and became a family. Damage. This is like a, a, a oh, yeah. points back. Another D6. Another D6. Because they, they because it's a half ending of the family okay. getting I'm never going crazy. Either. I know, right? I'll work on it. Okay. I'm 92 okay. now. So 92? This was huge, you guys. If it yeah. failed, it would have summoned a god, okay? Oh. And that would have been amazingly bad. That would have been cool. Which no, about. it wouldn't have been. I'm talking about this guy. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. wait. Did you say plus you 10 for that. every kid? The one I was trying to no, blow up? said 10 <laughs> for the kid. Would I get that? Oh, um, yeah. No, you weren't there to do it. You, have to. you weren't part of saving what them. What is that? Actually, <laughs> you shouldn't get for Gracie or for the family at the end of it. No, you can have the D6 for the family, but not the D4 for Gracie. Is that the guy? What did you roll for the yeah, D4 for Gracie? Version of it. <laughs> okay. Yes, it did. What did you roll? Two. Okay, so dark instead of that, take yeah, that two off that. and roll a D6. That's because you find out that they become a family. That's the very mother hand. She looks dumb. I was hoping for the, the statue. Yeah. Would, would that have been what it was? Three points back. It was something awful. Now, if I had blown up the statue, would that have done anything? No. Not if you had done it during the whole ritual thing, then it could have disrupted the ritual. That's another way to disrupt the ritual. Okay. Uh, killing, if you could have killed Gracie, that would disrupt the ritual. If, you just, if one of you had sacrificed yourself completely... Like and then jumped on top of Gracie and or on top of the, the altar that would have disrupted the ritual. You have to well, fail. I still have that book. I'll you have the book. Something. Okay. Yeah, you can start studying. You you, else. you fail for an ability to go. Oh, I'm fine. I remember yes. this guy. You have to fail, guys. Don't forget to check your ability scores. I did want to check out. Oh yeah. So it's one d six for each skill. No, you check. You make a roll against the ability score. If you fail, oh, you can tell you only have to record this. 